Hi everyone, it's Adrienne again. I thought it would be fun to um, swatch all my Charlotte Tilbury uh, lipsticks. So here are all the lipsticks I have. I have nine shades. Um, I really love her formulation. I love, I think all of these are the Matte Revolution with the exception of one. I'm uh, pretty sure that JK Magic is the kissing in the kissing formula. Um, outside of that, I'm really a huge fan of her Matte Revolution formula. And so I thought, yeah, I thought, why not? Let's swatch everything. And oh, I just realized I have one other lippy product of hers, which is the Collagen Lip Bath, which is amazing. Um, she has so many different kind of like sales that happen. And I would always say venture to her website to get kind of like the the lowdown with like a sale um she just tends to have the best sales on her site and so that's how i've acquired quite a bit um but i just love her formula i love her formula between her and lisa eldridge i don't really know what British lady I love more when it comes to lip products because I really, really, really love these lip products. And so I made it nice and bright in here. Hopefully you can see, and I'll just go ahead and swatch uh, colors and, you know, hopefully it helps you decide. I'll also do arm swatches, but I'll do that in the daylight. So you have a point of reference. Um, I will say that a lot of her shades look a lot alike they're very subtle differences. And I don't think that that's a bad thing. I think that's really to help you decide what works for your undertone. Um, I know Huda Beauty has that a lot, um, like uh, the power bullet kind of line for Huda is a lot like that as well, kind of like thinking about uh, cooler tones, warmer tones, more neutral. So I think Charlotte Tilbury is the same way. So I. I don't expect, it's not one of those kind of um, lipstick collections where it's, you know, you should kind of want to own everything. Owning everything really just probably doesn't make any sense in, in this line. Um, just like with the Huda line, it doesn't make sense because some of the undertones are not going to suit you. So I feel like that's kind of the same the same thing with, um, with Charlotte Tilbury. So just want to mention that because I feel like sometimes like with MAC lipstick, MAC has such a variety of shades, lots of fun shades, and you can easily just like want to collect and collect and collect. And am I very shiny? I mean, is that what's happening here? I used a, <laughs> I used a glowy kind of primer. Am I going to have to blot my face before I start? I might just have to blot my face before I start. That's sad. Please hold. Well, I just had to blot my face. Sorry about that. I actually used the Mineralized Skin Finish Powder and Medium. I really like this. I I like Max Face products, a lot of them. Still, I can't get... My 17-year-old my self still loves MAC, and so I, I do go back to MAC. Um, back to Mac. Um, so this is the this is the first shade. This is the shade I'm starting off with. This is Red Hot Susan from the uh, Matte Revolution line, and it's in the Hot Lips. So again, this is a you know these these packages are actually it's refillable, so you can just take the lipstick out and you can refill it. Or you can swap out the shade. The only thing about swapping it out is that the sticker remains the same. So that's a little negative. I, I wish they would have found a way to make the tube snap out completely so that you can swap out the color name, but it's okay. It's still like such a beautiful um, kind of vintage feel package. So I, I really, really love that. So this is um, Red Hot Susan. It's really kind of um, burnt orange red, uh, really, really pretty. Great daytime red to like liven the face. This color here, this is 
um, one of her newer shades. This is Pillow Talk, but Pillow Talk Medium. And you could see it, it has like a little bit of a brown, like a rosy brown. It's a great everyday shade, also in the Matte Revolution formula. This color here is um, M.I. Kiss. Uh, this is formerly known as Bond Girl. This is a rosy, it's, it's more rosy than the Pillow Talk Medium is. Um, it still has a, a, a smidge of brown, super wearable, matte revolution formula. Really creamy, just easy to throw on. Um, a your lips but better color probably for a lot of people. Uh, I really, really like this color. I'm not sure why so many of her products have undergone um, name changes. That's sort of a little annoying, but I suspect that it has something to do with trademark or something because I know a lot of her um, sort of anything that re references films, I think she, they're pulling back from. So like, I think the Barbarella Brown eyeliner is now just brown, classic brown and uh, the Bond Girl had a change. I think even like La Dolce Vita eyeshadow had a change. So it just seems like there's a little confusion there um, as to maybe rights, but I just wanted to put my two cents about that. Does anyone else think that's weird? Uh, just a lot of name changes. Or are they trying to change the name so we get confused and we buy duplicates of things only to discover they're the same color? Aha, uh -huh. maybe that's the conspiracy. So anyway, this is um, Bond Girl slash M.I. Kiss. Here we have Legendary Queen, also in the Matte Revolution formula. This I would say is a truer red, um, still sort of bricky, so very similar to the Red Hot Susan. Um, this one though is just redder, a little less orange. Um, it's really pretty, especially for the fall. I, li I like the shade. So this is, and I'll just open it. Um, this is Legendary Queen. And you'll see like the shades um, don't necessarily, you know, it's the color appears differently in the bullet. I find with the Matte Revolution formula in particular, the color is much darker in the bullet than it is on the lips. So that's the shade. This color here is Red Carpet Red. It's this one here. Um, again, you'll see it, it appears much darker in the bullet than on the lips. It's much more vibrant. And this one has uh, a blue tone in it, but it also has pink. And so it's just really, really bright. And I, I, I like it. I, I like this, this uh, shade of red is quite, quite bright. So again, kind of back to that idea of like choosing your undertones. In most people's collection, probably they would have one red lipstick and they would go either like the orange side or the like pinker side or blue side, whatever it might be, or maybe like more burnt um, bricky red. I just like all reds. So you're going to see in my collection, I, I have all of them. Um, and even though maybe one might suit me more, I, I just love, love wearing the different shades of red. So that's why you're going to see in my collection, I actually do have quite a lot of reds. So this one is red carpet red. It's one of my new additions and I love it. And I will say that this formula, this one in particular, this, so this is Matte Revolution again, but it, since it's newer, it's like, it's way creamier, way creamier than, than um, some of my other shades that I've had for a little bit. So maybe that's kind of a indication for me to know like when an, a lipstick is aging, because I've had a, a few of them for a, over a year. They still smell great and perform well, but now I'm noticing 
definitely when they're new they're super creamy um so this is red carpet red here we have another hot lips matte revolution formula this color is amazing amal i love this shade this is a real like kind of rose color beautiful everyday shade it just sort of lifts the complexion um I really like it. It's like a step down from like a deep, deep berry. So definitely has a lot of rose in it. And I love this shade. So this is amazing, Amal. Here we have Walk of Shame, now, now named Walk of No Shame, but this one is old enough that there it's still named Walk of Shame. And I, love this color it's a real wearable um rosy soft red with a splash of brown it's very similar to pillow talk medium very similar to the mi kiss bond girl shade um it's just a bit warmer and um kind of like the easiest version of red gives that kind of like blotted look feel uh just really really easy 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 shade to wear so this is walk of no shame here we have the queen also matte revolution formula it is like a very hot pink um color I think it's stunning. I love these colors. I don't think they're as popular as they really should be. This is like a great alternative to red to stand out. It's as festive, but you can also wear it in the day. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. So it's a hot pink, you know, a little bit more warmth in it. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. I actually wore a shade just like this for my wedding with very simple eye makeup. I love this color that much. I just think it's such an unusual uh, pop of color and it really suits a lot of skin tones. So this is the queen. Last in the bullet lipsticks that I have is JK Magic. And this is sort of like a creamy, uh, peachy nude color. I'd say it's a mid-tone nude. I'm not a huge fan of nude lip colors. I just, I'm sort of of the mindset, like if I'm gonna be wearing a nude lip, I'd rather just wear like a lip gloss or a lip balm or just a formulation that sort of will just shade my lips a little bit warm, a little bit cool, a little bit pinker, or red or whatever it might be. but that there's like kind of like not a lot of effort on my part. So I don't usually invest in um, lipsticks that are of the nude variety, but this one is quite pretty. It is uh, it is the kissing formula. And so it's a, it has a bit more of a sheen to it and it's creamy, um, really comfortable, still, still feels like it would be a long wear lipstick um but yeah it's it's certainly it's not my like my comfort uh zone but i i love that i have it and so yeah that's jk magic i'm going to put on the last shade that i have which is actually a whole other different product and i'll just kind of give you my final thoughts on this collection Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, so on my lips, I just applied the Collagen Lip Bath in Refresh Rose. This stuff is so good. Um, I'll just show you the wand of it. It has like a weird little, almost heart, heart shaped. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Maybe against my hair, you can see the outline. Um, a heart shaped applicator. It has like a bit of a minty kind of zinginess to it, but nothing annoying. And it also feels like very kind of, the mint vibe feels very organic, if that makes any sense. To me, like the buxom lip 
plumpers they don't feel kind of organic but this one feels organic like it just has this slight cooling effect minty um it does beautiful things to the lips leaves like a really thick layer of gloss and anyone who knows me knows i'm i'm not a lip gloss person so that i got this i got a sample of this and i went through the sample card twice over i was just so floored by the formulation i loved it and i missed it when i didn't have it and so i i bought it um and i'm i'm happy i have it it's beautiful beautiful lip product if you like minty natural looking glossy lips and you want to treat yourself you know go for it i don't know about the other shades i mean i i love her other lip products so i'm sure like the other shades are just beautiful so um i just wanted to give my final thoughts on uh all the lipsticks that we try the the bullet lipsticks um you know again it's one of those things where definitely pick a shade i feel like if you're going to invest in a 35 dollars lipstick or however much they cost make it a lipstick you know you're gonna like go after and use all the time um a special kind of shade maybe doesn't make sense so if you know that you don't wear bold lipsticks try the pillow talk it's a pretty color i i don't have it but um you know it's definitely on my wish list to to have um pillow talk or very victoria or if you're of a like light to medium complexion and you want something with a little more oomph i highly recommend walk of no shame i to this is one of my favorite shades if not my favorite shade that and amazing amal are sort of my effortless lip products uh when I want some color on my lips, this is what I go to. And then if I want something much more vibrant and, you know, that kind of is where I'm feeling maybe a little feisty, I would definitely go with the Queen, which is that was that bright fuchsia color, um, which is just gorgeous. If, if you're that kind of gal or guy, uh, for sure. Um, or I would also really recommend Hmm, I'm trying to think like of all of them, of all of them. Pro I'm really feeling Red Hot Susan. I, it's surprising to me that I would gravitate so much to um, an orangey red, but I really, really like it. I wore it all day as part of my 30-day uh, lipstick challenge, and I, I like it. I like it a lot. So, um, yeah, those would be my sort of recommendations. And again, like I mentioned, on my wish list, for sure is Pillow Talk and Very Victoria because I, I do like JK Magic as a nude lipstick and I feel like maybe I need to build out my nudes a bit more. Um, I feel like my, my lipstick collection is a lot of those mid-tone colors and not a lot of like real like lighter nudes or really, really deep color. Oh, I also have my eye on, I think it's called Glastonbury. It's like the really dark, dark vampy color. I would love to see how a color like that performs with the um, in the matte revolution formula. So that's on my wish list. What's on your wish list? Let me know down in the comments below and stay tuned for 30 days of lipsticks, lip, lip, lippies, everything to do with lips. That's going to be my focus this December. So um, hope all is well and I'll see you soon. Bye.